Returning back today to a headline that we've been covering a lot lately, but it's an issue farmers and ranchers are concerned with, and that is highly pathogenic avian influenza. As we continue to see additional reports of dairy herds and poultry flocks that have tested positive for the avian influenza, we are closely monitoring the situation and receiving regular updates from USDA and other federal agencies as things progress. On our website, westernagnetwork.com, we are sharing USDA's dashboard tracking cases across the nation. Now, this page will continue to be updated with the most recent news and action items. And as of this broadcast, livestock infected with avian influenza has only been identified in 16 dairy herds in six states. And so far, officials are not putting mandatory quarantines around dairies with positive cases, nor are there any plans to depopulate dairy cattle USDA APHIS explains why. So far, it appears that the cattle are able to recover after a couple of weeks, go back into the milking herd. And so at this point, we do not expect to need to, to depopulate cattle. Dairy operators are encouraged to increase biosecurity on their farms and to be looking for signs of avian flu. The primary symptoms in dairy cattle are loss of appetite going off feed and then a dramatic drop in milk production. And some of the cattle occasionally um, showed um, a slight fever. Health officials remind consumers that there is no threat to the U.S. dairy supply and that dairy items are safe to consume. For more details, as we continue to track avian influenza, visit westernagnetwork.com. Why beef? Because it sustains my family's sixth generation family ranch, America, and a good chunk of the world. <laughs>